something I wanted to take a look at was the defensive uh, defensive usage and the ice time among the guys because for the last couple of games, I feel like, yeah, Sanheim and Risto, they're looking good out there together, and the coach seems to agree, like, yeah, you're both playing 25-plus minutes, and everyone else was, like, sub-17. It was like, well, how sustainable is this? Now, Sanheim and Risto still both played over 23 minutes. That's that's a ton of time, mm-hmm. especially for Risto, who's averaged about 16 over the last two years. True. But a little bit more faith in Sealer and Drysdale, especially without a ton of special teams time tonight. Sealer 21-45, Drysdale 20-31. Feels like these two are finding themselves a little bit. They did have a couple of shifts where Charlie specifically during the watch along, you're like, oh, this was not great. But that's just going to happen. Like they've told us, we need to retrain Jamie Drysdale. He doesn't know how to play hockey. It's like, all right, well, he's had a pretty nice career already uh, for a guy who doesn't know how to play. What's going to happen when they teach him to? <laughs> the ceiling Fair seems point. high. Fair uh, point. But Which is it's, why they're so excited yeah, about him. I guess that's why. Uh, it seems like maybe gaining a little more faith in Sealer and Drysdale, or is it just, yeah, Andre and Johnson, we have no idea what to expect, so we have to put the NHLers <laughs> out there. I think it's probably a little bit of both. A little both, bit of both. Honestly, yeah. yeah. I mean, I do think that Sealer and Drysdale have been incrementally – looking a little bit better as we go. But um, also, like, you can't really trust it is, that third pair for, with too much. It is insane what kind of a steadying force Nick Sealer seems to be. It's pretty wild. Um, he's a good player. I know, I, I know, but it's just, it's just... When we got him, I don't think this is where we expected to be no, with Nick Sealer. He was thinking about just hanging it up. Right, yeah. Like, exactly. he was almost out of the league. And uh, this might be Chuck Fletcher's greatest find, quite honestly. Is like it, there's, there's not a ton. Like yeah. the failed uh, Ryan Ellis trade is still maybe one of the best moves he's made. <laughs> like <laughs> just because, like, yeah, on paper it still kind of looks good. The other two aren't in the league either. Uh, I think Myers is playing a little for Toronto hey, right uh, now. What, but what a, anyway? What I'm happy about with with sealer the fact that he's back it's not even that i'm ex- i'm expecting the sealer drysdale pairing to be fantastic right off the bat i'm certainly not expecting jamie drysdale to step in and be sean walker right from the jump what i like about it is the goal of this season one of the big goals of this season is developing jamie drysdale it's not like the primary goal but it's it's probably top five maybe top three depending yeah. upon your I, view of his importance yeah if you're going to do that and you're going to do that the right way I think it's important to have someone partnered with him who you know exactly what you're going to get every game. Like you can't, you couldn't put him, and and I say this, like I really like this player. And not even just stylistically, I'm just talking about consistency. You could not put Jamie Drysdale with Shane Goss's bear no. and then be God. like, go develop. Because you had no idea what Ghost was going to do on any given shift. There was no that that was the opposite of stability. And that's what yeah. everyone loved about Prime Ghost. Yes. Because he would potentially do any random thing on any shift. With Sealer, you know exactly what he's going to do on every single shift. And that allows Drysdale. To get into a comfort zone of, okay, well, my partner's always going to do that thing. Now I can focus on doing all the other stuff every single night until I get hopefully good at it all. They would be fun together, though. You would love it. I would love the chaos. <laughs> Me too. I, I would absolutely love the chaos of it all. I don't think they'd win a ton of games right. or have a, right. have a, an especially flattering plus minus. No, but it'd be fun. But yeah. some fun stuff might happen. Yes. And it might be the only situation in which I could justify two defensemen on a power play. Mm-hmm. Uh, like, it's, it would be fun. We all silly like the mayor. 